Has someone ever challenged you to something that they didn't know you are an expert at? I was working at this auto parts store during college when this guy came in acting like he knew everything about cars. He was maybe 40, wearing expensive clothes, driving a brand new BMW. The type who talks down to retail workers like we're all idiots. He needed brake pads for his car, but kept insisting we were giving him the wrong part numbers. I showed him the computer system, explained how we look up parts by year and model, but he wasn't having it. Listen, kid, he said, I've been working on cars longer than you've been alive. These cheap generic parts aren't going to work on a precision German engine like mine. I tried explaining that the parts were actually OEM quality, just rebranded, but he cut me off, started lecturing me about how kids today don't understand real craftsmanship and how his BMW deserved better than whatever junk we were selling. Then he made his big mistake. He pointed to the brake rotors on display and said, I bet you couldn't even change brake pads if your life depended on it. You probably don't even know what these parts do. I just smiled and said I'd be happy to learn from someone with his experience. He took the bait and started explaining brake systems to me like I was five years old, getting half the details wrong. What this guy didn't know was that I'd been rebuilding cars with my dad since I was 12. I had my own garage at home where I restored classic muscle cars. I'd built three complete engines from scratch and could take apart a transmission blindfolded. I was only working retail to pay for college, but cars were my real passion. I'd studied automotive engineering and knew more about brake systems than most professional mechanics. After he finished his lecture, I nodded politely and said, that's really interesting. Would you mind if I showed you something? I walked him over to our brake lathe, this machine that resurfaces rotors when they get warped. Started explaining how it works, the tolerances we measure, why surface finish matters for proper pad seating. His confident expression started changing when I pulled out a micrometer and measured the thickness of different rotors, explaining the minimum spec for his specific BMW model. Then I grabbed a borescope and showed him how to inspect brake cylinders for scoring. By the time I finished explaining the metallurgy differences between ceramic and organic brake pads, he was just standing there looking confused. I could tell he was starting to realize he might have underestimated the kid behind the counter, but I wasn't done yet. I casually mentioned that his BMW actually had a brake system recall for the exact year he was driving. Pulled up the technical service bulletin on our computer and showed him the fix. You might want to have that checked, I said. The master cylinder can fail without warning on these models. There was a class action lawsuit about it. He went from cocky to nervous real quick. Started asking questions about the recall, whether his car was affected, how dangerous it might be to drive. I printed out all the recall information for him and explained exactly what he needed to tell his dealer to get it fixed for free. Even gave him the part numbers for the updated components. Then came the best part. He asked if I could recommend a good mechanic in town who really knew BMWs. I mentioned my dad's shop and said they specialized in European imports. Your dad's shop? He asked. Yeah, Peterson's Auto. My dad's been working on BMWs for 30 years. I grew up in that garage. Been rebuilding German engines since high school. The guy's face went completely red. He realized he'd spent 20 minutes explaining basic car parts to someone who probably knew more about his BMW than he did. He ended up buying the brake pads I'd originally recommended, plus some other parts for maintenance I suggested, paid full price without complaining, and was super polite about everything. As he was leaving, he turned back and said, Sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have assumed you didn't know what you were talking about. I just shrugged and told him it happened all the time. People see young guy in retail and think I don't know anything, but cars don't care how old you are or what you're wearing. Either you understand how they work or you don't. Three weeks later, he came back with his wife, said his dealer had confirmed the recall and fixed his brakes for free, probably saving him from an accident. His wife wanted to thank me personally for catching something that could have been dangerous. They ended up becoming regular customers. Every time they needed parts, they'd ask specifically for me. The guy even sent his friends to our store, always telling them to ask for the kid who knows BMWs. The funniest part was watching him try to explain to his buddies why this college kid knew more about their expensive cars than they did. He'd bring them in just to watch me diagnose problems or recommend modifications. Word got around town about the parts store employee who could outtalk BMW owners about their own cars. Business picked up because people were curious to meet the kid who supposedly made some rich guy look foolish. My manager gave me a raise and put me in charge of training new employees. Told me I had a gift for making customers feel smart while actually teaching them something useful.